just opened up a rack of ribs, and I was supposed to have one big rack right here, but we ended up with this dinky one too on top of that for the price we paid. Uh, it was fifteen dollars. It was fifteen dollars and forty six cents. So it was two ninety nine a pound uh, per per US pound. So well, that's pretty good for fifteen dollars and forty six cents. Uh, one big rack. We're gonna have to cook both racks anyway since it's open. That's a small rack, so I think Angel will tackle that one. Looks like I may be taking this for two days. Uh, maybe. Uh, right now, it's just season up. And yes, we are grilling tonight, if you have not noticed. Angie's downstairs doing the laundry. How rude of me. Hello, YouTube. And like I said, we are grilling today. Nice warm day today. Uh, supposed to be near 40 today. Melton, we got the grill plugged in, as always. We just did a grilling video, video last week when we did the T-bone steaks, and that video should be coming up, uh, uh, possibly in the i card. Uh, uh, yeah, it should be coming up in the i card uh, anytime soon. So check out the i card. Check out our grilling videos. Of course, we all know the rules and regulations, which we know how to find loopholes. Okay, we'll see in a little okay, bit. We're gonna oh. carefully put these on the grill. Should fit. Barely. It'll cook down. This will definitely fit because this is a small rack. It's like almost like a baby rack. There we go. Now I'm going to put some foil over it because we're slow cooking this today. And today I got to try to avoid as much filming outside as much as possible because uh, I guess the person that we helped uh, financially downstairs below us a couple years ago with that apartment fire uh, was moved over to the other half of the apartment. He ran into big legal problems all year around uh, the last year or so. He ran into some legal issues. Uh, this is before the COVID-19 uh, set in. And uh, let's put it this way. I uh, don't want to talk about it. Don't want to show it uh, because it's not pretty. Uh, if anybody who has a history of evictions on your record, uh, yeah, talk about it in the comments down below, but if not, we're not going to show what's going on. Just, I'll leave it to your imaginations. i seen worse. You want to say something? Hello, YouTube. Finally. Finally, yeah, finally. I almost got laundry done, guys. All right, and I got the grill cooking. I did put aluminum foil on it. Uh, the foil is the main purpose is basically uh, when I cook ribs at this time of year is to keep the heat, of, the heat closer to the surface because I just like to slow cook these. So the knob is not on very high, probably between, uh, I'm going to put it near two. That's how I like to start out with this time of year. Now if this was hotter temperatures, uh, I would be, I'd be really going high in temperatures. But, and, and the patio is all cleaned off. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. There's no snow. Angie cleaned off all the snow finally. And I got all the ice. Yeah. Snow and ice gone off the patio. And you notice what's off the, the grill. The last time we did a grilling video, there was snow and ice on that one too, around the knob. But that was frozen solid. I couldn't knock it off. Even the heat couldn't knock it off. But it's off now because it's warmer temperatures, right? Yeah. It is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a beautiful day. A uh, lot more snow will be melting. A lot more slush to walk through. Uh, reason I'm not taking any... I'll probably be taking a walk tomorrow. Uh, I gotta take some cans in. Uh, we'll show you the one route. Then I think we'll walk on the riverfront tomorrow. Uh, Angie's probably busy doing other stuff as Very always. clean. While I'm gone. Yeah, while I'm gone. And doing my errands uh, tomorrow. Taking uh, about three bags of cans in tomorrow. Two bags of cans and one bag of bottles. Which is good. That'll be about uh, 11 or $12 right there. Possibly. That'd be my lucky guess. So, uh, leave your guess on this video. Uh, the actual dollar amount will be returning tomorrow. And we'll have the answer on tomorrow night's video. All right, so uh, right now, uh, we're just, like I said, we're grilling today. Holy cow, 41 degrees out here, feeling nice. 
At least it's not 41 below zero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, boy. Can you smell what's cooking? <laughs> yeah. Cooking fine there. We'll take a look at that in a second here. Boy, you can hear it sizzling already. So we're just going to take one of the foils off just to see how it's cooking. Looking nice so far. That's just the thing, that's the small side. The big one's still busy. Keep the lid on it. It'll be a while. It's on basically low heat. Number two on the turn knob there. And I kind of like the foil uh, close to the meat uh, to keep it to keep the heat close to it, uh, basically. And we'll see how it turns out. But like I said, the weather turned out awesome today. Slushy out there, as you see, out here in the parking lot. I uh, can't imagine how slushy down the streets and uh, sidewalks. We saw that yesterday. It was pretty slushy. Oh, hello. Hope you saw a palm of my hand. There. But yeah, it's... Oh, wow. I don't want to prolong this video uh, with uh, not a... Uh, of a lot of gobbledygook but today it's like another good news bad news day uh, especially if you like those amusement parks out there I heard word through another YouTube channel over in England uh, I guess something uh, I know uh, some of my subscribers over in England will probably can testify in their comments down below the ones who like to go to those amusement parks or heard news about it um, they're opening in April 12th, uh, some of the parks. Probably with the same restrictions they had before, uh, to see what happens. But yeah, they're going to be opening a lot earlier this year than it was last year. Last year they didn't open up around the 4th of July. Uh, this year they're opening around. Uh, here in the States, most of them are opening uh, May 14th, about a month after the UK parks open up. And of course, we talked about the one in California that we're interested in, uh, Magic Mountain. Uh, they're opening, hopefully, at about the same time, but California governor is a different issue. Uh, sounds like Illinois governor, uh, I give him a nickname, I, I guess you guys don't care what I, I nickname name as. Um, uh, but uh, I guess he's going to allow that park in Great America, North Chicago, to open up, which is great. Uh, gives us another option if we need to. And of course, Adventureland will open as scheduled, regularly scheduled. Actually, they're not even opening in April this year. They're going to wait. They're going to push it back a couple weeks. Because uh, usually they open the final weekend of April. But because of the COVID-19, they're not expecting the big crowds. And usually, the last time in 2019, they end up closing because of cold weather anyway. So they decided to play it safe, move, move it back to about a couple more weeks into early uh, May to mid-May. Same as Ella Parks and that. And the close in June. Uh, sometime in June, uh, eventually we'll be opening up their new roller coaster, the SS for the free spin. There's a few parks that had their new coasters planned for last year will make their openings this year uh, instead so uh, yep and we are planning on going to a few of these parks ourselves we'll talk about that later uh, as soon as we hear more news of what's going on especially in California we need more information and we need it now boy that sun is bright today oh man I should have worn my I should have wore a cap I gotta get me sunglasses too because this the bright sun and the snow is not really helping my vision. But it's not hurting my smell because I'm smelling great ribs cooking away. It'll be a few hours. So how about this? Uh, we'll come back in a few hours when uh, we're about ready to slap some barbecue sauce on it. Okay, just got home doing a quick errand. Here it is a couple hours later. And we're going to, Angie's listening to, uh, who are you listening to? Who are you watching? What's that? Who are you watching? You've been watching every day. You don't know his channel name? Oh, Trucker's Life? Okay. Alright. And she's watching the Trucker's Life. Uh, 
Shout out to him. Okay, uh, let's check our ribs here, see how they're doing. And that, so here we go. Uh, kindly remove the foil a little bit. I'm busy. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good so far. This truck is alive. Oh, this truck is life? Yeah. Okay, it's this truck is life. Okay. All right. Shout out to this truck is life then. But well, there's all the ribs. A couple more hours, I think they'll be done. Okay, what we're going to do right now is we're going to take the foil off the grill. Looks yummy. Sorry about that. And I'm going to spread some barbecue sauce on the meat. And I think we're going to turn it up just a tad bit. Not much more, just a tad. Uh, that's basically it. So right now, let's get some barbecue sauce on this. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell or not, but we slapped some barbecue sauce on that thing. And like I said, we're just going to turn it up just a fraction, not much. We're not going to put the foil back on because the meat's almost done anyway. Uh, we'll just put a regular lid on it. And that's it. And we'll check uh, when I come back. You guys, let's take a peek and see how the ribs look. You guys, these look good. Oh, shoot. guys, I forgot how sunny it was with the sun. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you on the next clip. Uh, just got home from my watering hole. It was a happy hour. I spent 19 tickets out of my tickets I won. But the problem is, I still come out a winner. Those happy hours can kill you at slops. All right. Anything she says to show you? I think it's almost dinner time. What do you guys think? I think that's all we're going to have tonight. It's just ribs. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. I think that's all I'm going to have tonight. It's just ribs. About a couple more minutes. We'll serve them. Well, don't get mad at me, guys. But Angie requested the small rack of ribs. That's what she's got. Yeah. The small rack of ribs that we showed you earlier. Yes. And I'm going to be stuck with the big rack. But I'm not going to be able to eat it all. Hey, I can add the rest for leftovers. In case you don't can't eat it all, right? I can eat all this. I haven't eaten nothing all day except for a couple of things. Okay, sounds cool. You know, I gotta do is serve up this big rack. I gotta figure out how to get it on a plate without breaking it in half. If it breaks in half, it breaks in half. But that's what we got here, guys. We're all done with this. Holy cow. That's a big rack of ribs right there. So, Angie, what do you think about those ribs? Good? I'm still eating. Yeah. I'm done after this piece right here. I'm going to have all of this tomorrow. But I'm done after this piece. But yeah, we laid waste to it, did we? Yeah, I'm full after this piece. I'm really full. Sorry, no sides on this one. I was full. Are you full? I'm still eating. Okay. Well, you Angie have leftovers tomorrow. I cannot finish mine either. Yeah, I already packed away your leftovers. So you only ate half of what your rack. And I only ate almost all my rack, but the meatiest part I left untouched. I'll have that tomorrow. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's just, let's. Yeah, excuse you. All right, we'll finish this video in a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, those ones are good. Those ones are oh, good. Oh, Angie was busy when he was at the bars. Me? I was. No, you wasn't. Was busy. But you might as well be because you turned on the air conditioner, not the heat. I thought it was summer, guys. <laughs> okay. I know it was warm, but it was not that hot. Come on, it came up to 41 came on what, what, 41 to 42 degrees Fahrenheit for temperatures and you turn on the air conditioner? <laughs> I thought I would turn on the air conditioner. Oops. 
Oops, yeah. I oops. can lead with that. Yeah. All right. Those were so good anyway. So, uh, after that little shenanigans Angie just had with the uh, thermostat, that's this. Well, I cleaned it when he was gone too, guys. That's the square thing right here where she actually turned on the air conditioner. Yeah, the, the, Not other, the, heat. the other thing is the carbon monoxide. Yeah, the other thing, the round thing, is the carbon monoxide. Uh, in case uh, that comes up. But uh, now nah, we're lucky that doesn't go off. We don't want that thing to go off. That's well, that's one guys, thing. It did, but it was low batteries. Oh, yeah. All right. What happened is we're going to end this video. Those ribs are good and yummy. Uh... Now I gotta wait till the heat to kick in. Cause she just throws my fanny off in here. Thanks, Angie. Now you made us, you made me and the subscribers <laughs> cold by turning on the air conditioner. Yes. So, we don't turn that on until like almost what, late May, early June? That's at the why earliest. I said, Chuck, can you double check? Yeah, I did double check. I was starting to freeze. Right now, let's get out of here. You want me to close it out or you close it me? out? Me! Of course. Please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button notification. Bye. Oh, I got a camera tomorrow. Bye.